What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about why you should ditch the van and get a trailer instead, especially in these times. So I think the first reason is, uh, you know, at least for me, you're, you're growing your business, you're, you're doing a lot of different things, and vans are expensive. Uh, you know, especially now with these Sprinter vans and the, the all the variants you can get. I mean, you, you're going to drop, in the end, without the tools, like probably 35 grand on a trailer, uh, on, a, on, a, on a van. And a trailer, for the same capacity and everything you're going to need, probably cost you about four. So between that and, and, the, and the value of what a trailer can get you if you got to sell it and liquidate it, um, like for instance, this trailer behind me, um, you know, little 12 foot trailer that, that cost me $3,500. I could probably sell it today, six years later for probably three grand. Um, they, they really hold their value. You don't, you don't have mileage to do it. It's all about how you take care of it. So if you don't beat the crap out of the trailer and it doesn't have a lot of road rash inside, uh, on the outside and it's not rotted, um, you're going to get uh, your maximum return on that. Uh, about return too, then you don't have to insure it, right? Because you're you're insuring the towing vehicle, not necessarily what you're towing. Um, unless it's like an RV or something like that, there's really no restrictions. You're kind of going to have uh, just whatever your capacity is for your towing vehicle as an insured. So you don't need to have a rider on these things with all the tools or whatever you're doing inside the trailer. Um, it's basically just an attachment. So you're going to save for your insurance. So what I did was, you know, I, I basically, we have one big van. We got a, a couple uh, delivery vans and then all my work vans. I got rid of because you don't need them. It, it, the, the cost is so extreme, especially now. Everything's going up. Um, this is a good way to save. So if you have one decent towing vehicle, and this might be a personal vehicle, it doesn't have to be a company vehicle. You know, it all depends on what you're doing. But at the end of the day, uh, it's going to be a lot cheaper to insure one vehicle than five if you're that bigger, or if you're growing and all that. So, so your insurance level and it all depends on what you tell them too. So maybe you have a couple big contracts or something, or maybe you're busy for a while. Well, that's the best bet because then I could always dump the trailer. I don't have to dump everything I put into the to the towing vehicle, and I only have one. Um, me personally, I got I got three trailers. Uh, I got one towing vehicle. You know, so so it, it beats three vans, right? Um, the next the next point is really beyond the insurance is your time, right? So. I think about how you're going to have to drive that van home, right? Someone has to drive that van back and forth, back and forth. So you're putting a lot of miles on the van to the job site. Um, this thing you just leave at the job site or wherever you're working until you're done. Um, and it de again, depends on the industry specifically what you're involved in doing. You know, it, it might be different for uh, a plumber versus a, a guy that does decks and siding, right? But uh, for me, um, it's a lot more efficient in terms of time where I don't have to strap everything down. You know, when we leave the job site, the thing's basically a mobile job box. So I, I, as long as is, everything's in there, that's valuable. And, you, you know, you don't have to tidy it up every time. Everything you need is usually in there. You don't need like, oh, it's on the other van or whatever. You know, you know, I have my tools and everything are uh coded specifically for each trailer and in each task that's designed but i'm going to do another video on that because there's, there's a lot more that uh goes into it depending on what you're doing but for the most part time how long how much time are you going to save from loading and unloading a van i mean for me it's 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 almost a half an hour right you get there it's a half an hour to play with yourself and then a half an hour to unplay with yourself when you're done so how do you save time? Plus, you're going to go there the next day and need the same stuff you did yesterday. So um, from a time perspective, you're going to save a lot. And logistically speaking, um, everything's there already. You could have people meet, go to the job site directly. Why well, you got to go to the shop or whatever when you can just go right to the job site? Uh, a lot more efficient in terms of how you spend your time. It's also low key. That's my next point. It's, it's number four reason is low key. You don't need to show. I mean, come on, man. It depends what you're doing, where you're working. But at the end of the day, um, look, 
it's blank. You, you would never know what's in there. Um, you don't need to advertise like that all the time. You don't need to put a vehicle wrap on everything you do. Um, sometimes it's best you don't know. It looks like a landscape or a motorcycle trailer. It's a personal trailer, right? So you don't need to advertise what's in it because sometimes you advertise to be robbed. Um, or it looks like there's a lot of work being done in someone's house and you know, you, you're turning heads. Oh, what's that nice van that's out there? Or, or what, I wonder what tools they're using or did they pull permits? Maybe we should get an inspector in there. You, you, you can see where I'm going with this. But if you just see this parked in a driveway, um, it, it looks just a little inconspicuous. There, there, there's not a lot of eyebrows and heads being turned, right? Um, and the last one, I think is the best one is if you're subbing out if you're if you're using subcontractors a lot um sometimes you want guys to have their own tools and everything and, and it gets mishmashed and you, you leave this there they could sub out of that um it works great and and for the for the most part um there's a lot less confusion uh, uh and you could just let it be there as long as it needs to be it, it, it's really not a big hassle less of a hassle actually because you're not relying on someone else's transportation and you're not taking a very big risk in order of of leaving that trailer there in terms of uh having someone else drive the truck there's a whole insurance thing that goes back to my second point with insurance the, the, the insurance is really it really should be my number one factor above price but um you're they kill you and you that when you use subs and there's a lot it gets a lot more complicated it also varies upon your state but for me um that's how i get around all that is is by just using trailers and and um i i grow with them and if i get slow guess what one goes and i get almost all my money back so it's a lot more efficient of a ball game and you don't have all the things that go around again with the vans i'm so tired of vans because it, you know besides hitting your head and 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 damaging things and and especially now with um i mean dude the, the one van it, it almost costs us three grand to do the brakes for the box truck i mean it's just ridiculous you know everything is so expensive now so how do you limit your expenses by working out of, of a trailer that's how that's my answer now i'm sticking with it and you know sometimes it's a pain in the neck when you know from maneuvering it and everything but for the most part especially us like if we're all contractors or whatever you're gonna have something that can tow a trailer anyway just based on your habits so like i had a truck way before i had a trailer i had boats and all kinds of other good stuff so uh, you're gonna if you're gonna have something that you can tow with why not tow your work stuff with it and save the money so so as long as you can um you know justify leaving it there for a long period of time like if you're gonna do a uh quick you know if you're like a painter and you're gonna do a, a a paint job for a day maybe it's not yeah okay trailer doesn't make sense right because you're only gonna be there for a short amount of time you're not gonna spend weeks at the same job site but if you're gonna spend there long enough man by all means dump that van and get a trailer and save yourself some money because you're gonna need it soon i'm telling you uh, things are going to change and, and everything's going to get a little tighter. So, so this is a very good way to start with that while putting more money in your pocket. All right. I'll see you out there.